Hi guys, today if you are to sit in an examination room, you don't have any reason as to why you should not take home with you the marks that are awarded for building a unit trait. And that is why on today's tutorial, we are going to look at how to build up a unit trait for the walls. Remember the walls are measured in square meter and they are priced in square meters. So under this unit trait, we are going to look at the components, that is the material, that is cement, sand, stones, plus the labor. And then we are going to build, we are going to find the cost per square meters. Stay there and take home with you these marks. Now, this is our question. Build up a unit rate of 150 millimeters thick solid concrete block wall in cement, sand, mortar of class one is to three per meter square. So we have the data, density of cement, 1440 kgs per meter cubic, density of sand, 1600 kgs per meter cubic, cost of 50 kgs bag of cement goes at 700, cost of one ton of sand, 1800, cost of one block, we have been given the size of the block, 390 by 150 by 190 millimeters, 75 shillings, Skilled labor 150 per hour and skilled labor 90 shillings per hour. Bulking of sand is at 25%. Shrinkage of concrete is at 15%. And then we are told to assume manual mixing. So this is the data that we have been given and we are building a unit rate of a 150 millimeter thick concrete block in square meters. So let's go to the solution. We have the materials, that is the cement and sand. That is what we are going to use to make our mortar. So we first start by finding the cost of the sand and the cost of the cement. Remember the mix that we've been given is one is to three. That means it's one cubic of cement and three cubic meters of of sand that makes it a ratio of one is to three. Now let's find the cost of sand. That the cost that we've been given it's 70, 50 kgs bag of cement at 70, and then we have the density 1440. That is the density of cement. So we divide by the 50 kgs, the density by 50 kgs for us to be able to find. The, how many kgs are there so that we can, how many 50 kgs are there in that density of 1440 so that we can multiply by the cost and find the total cost of the cement. So it's one cubic meters times 1440 over 50 times 700. That gives us 20,160 shillings. And then we assume one hour of unloading, that is of two unskilled. Our unskilled cost is 90 shillings per hour. So if we assume one hour of two, that is one hour times the number, that is two times the rate per hour which is 90 that gives us 180 shillings so let's go to sand we have three cubic meters because our our mix ratio was one to three this is cement and this is sand so for the sand it will be the density that we are given is 1600 kgs per meter cubic and then we have the cost of sand per ton which is 1800 so in this density we must find the 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 we divide by then the a thousand kgs so it's three cubic meters times 1600 kgs per cubic meter divided by a thousand that this is one ton and then we multiply by the cost of one ton so this one will give us the number of of tons that are in that sand and then for when we multiply by 1800 we are able to find the cost that is 8,640. Then we add 25% bulking. That is 25 of these costs. That gives us 2,160. So the total cost will be 8,640 plus 2,160. That gives us 10,800. Now this sand, we are add one hour for mixing of two unskilled. Remember our unskilled rate is 90 shillings. So it's one hour times two unskilled times the rate at a rate of 90. That gives us 180. So the total cost of the material will be the cost of the cement 
plus the unloading plus the cost of sand plus the two one hour for the for the mixing so that will give us a total cost of three that one thousand three hundred and and 20 and then we allow for 15 percent shrinkage because the material will shrink that is 15 percent of this total that gives us 4698 therefore the total will be that 1320 plus 4698 that gives us that 6018 shillings now this 6018 shillings is the total cost of one cubic of sand one cubic meter of sand and three cubic meters of one sorry one cubic meters of cement and three cubic meters of sand so that is four cubic meters of the material so four cubic meters goes at a cost of that six thousand and eighteen shillings so what about the one meter cubic so that gives us nine thousand that is that six thousand and 18 divided by the four cubic meters that gives us 9,004.50 cents. So we are done with the cement and the sun. Let's go to the blocks in one meter of wall. Now, if we want to find the number of blocks that will, will be used to construct that wall, that is one meter by one meter because our unit rate is in meter square. So that is one meter length and one meter height. Yes. So the size of a dry block, we've been given the size of the block to be 390 by 150 by 190 millimeters. So that is the size which does not have mortar. But when we are going to lay the mortar, the blocks will use mortar so we are going to assume 10 millimeters thick mortar so if this is our block here is where we have our mortar this is another block and then here is also where we have our our mortar so the new size of the block now with mortar of course the width it the length sorry that is 390 will increase by 10 the width it which is 150 we remain and then the height also will increase by the size of the mortar so our new size will be 400 by 150 by 200 millimeters now let's find the number of blocks in one meter square of wall that is one by one this one here one by one divided by the size that is the length and the and the height that is 0 0.4 by 0 0.2 this is 400 by 200 so that gives us 12.50 blocks, allow for 5% wastage, that is 5% of the 12.5, it gives us 0 0.625, and then when we add to the number of blocks, it gives us 13.25, say 14 blocks, because we are not going to buy a point something of blocks. Now the cost of one block we were told is... 75 shillings here so what is the total cost of the 14 blocks that is 75 times 14 that gives us 1050 now this is the cost of blocks in one meter square remember that is the cost of blocks in one meter square of a wall now let's go to the mortar now this is our wall this is our block that is 390 by 190 and then this is now the the one that is blue here is the is the mortar now for us to find the volume of that mortar we must find the mini gut and then the mini gut is the perimeter now all all round along the center line and then we are from there we are going to find the volume so the mini gut is length plus width it that gives us 580 we multiply by 2 that gives us 1160 and then we add 40. remember the motor was 10 but that is when it's being shared if we add another block here so the entire motor is 10 but for this for the mini gut we are taking one block so we have to share the motor twice so our thickness will be five so it's five times four which gives us 20 so if we add 20 to 11 60 it is 11 80. now let's find the volume this is 11 80 millimeters so in meters it's 1.180 times the width which is 
sorry, times the thickness, which is 5. That is 5 divided by 1,000. That gives us 0 0.05. And then times the width, which is 0 0.05. One five that was 150 millimeters. It gives us a volume of 0 0.000885 meter cubic. So one block is going to take a volume of 0 0.00885 cubic meters. How about the 12.5 blocks that we had, say 13? So that is 13 times the volume, which is 0 0.0085, it gives us 0 0.011. 116 in one meter cubic of of the wall and then we allow for 15 percentage wastage that is 15 over 100 times that volume which is 0 0.0116 it gives us 0 0.00174 now the total volume will be the volume of the 13 blocks that is 0 0.001 0 0.0116 plus 0 0.00174 that gives us 0 0.0133 meter cubic now one meter cubic of sand and cement was costing us the cost of one meter cubic of sand and cement because that is what forms the mortar was at a cost of 9,004.50 cents now let's find the cost. Now one meter was nine thousand and four point five zero. What about the zero point one three three meter cubic? Because this is the total mortar now that we need for a one by one meter wall. So it's zero point zero one three three by nine thousand and four point five fifty cent divided by one. It gives us one hundred and nineteen point seven six. That is the cost per meter now square of the of the mortar. So now once we have the cost of the mortar, that is sand and cement, and then the cost of the blocks, we are going to add the cost of the of the labor. For labor, we are assuming a gang of one is to two. This is one skilled and two unskilled for two hours. So for the skilled is 150. For the unskilled, the rate is 90 so there are two and then we multiply by the two hours so that 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 is 150 plus 180 times two that gives us 660 so the total cost of material plus labor will be 1050 1050 was the cost of 1050 was the cost of the blocks yes and then plus the cost of the motor which is 119.76 plus the cost of the labor that gives us 18 1829.75 we allow for 30 percent profit that gives us that 30 percent of the 1829.75 that gives us what seven sorry five forty eight point nine four so that therefore the total cost of that wall will be 1829.75 plus five thousand seven hundred and five thousand five hundred sorry five hundred and forty eight point nine four that gives us a total of two thousand three hundred and seventy eight point seventy so this is the total cost of building of that rate of a solid concrete block that is sand cement which has a ratio of one is to three in square meters thank you very much guys for your time and don't remember to subscribe share and leave a comment